Hey YouTube, this is Shamira. It's the 5th of December 2016 and I'm here on John W. Johnson's U.S. States Prophecy. Okay, this is the short version. If we scroll down to this is the Reader's Digest version. Okay. God sent prophets to warn the Jews prior to World War II, and they did not listen. In the early 1930s, God asked three Jewish men, Leo uh, Barak, Eli Weissel, and Martin Berber, to warn the Jewish people of the fire under their feet and to go to Palestine to escape what was coming. God instructed the men to warn them that they were getting ready to be destroyed by the Nazis. The reaction of the Jews was disbelief. They thought they had the best of everything in food, housing, businesses, and lifestyle, and they refused to give it up. Many replied, why should we listen to you prophets telling us we are going to be destroyed when there is no signs in the air? You three prophets go to Israel, Palestine. We are staying. Hmm. The Jews of Germany and Europe did not listen to the three prophets that God sent to warn them. Because they did not listen, they became victims of one man who tried to destroy the entire Jewish population. Pastors and shepherds, listen to what the prophets are saying. The day and the hour of the prophet has come. The prophets are speaking with great power and with signs and wonders such as has never been seen before in the history of the Christian church. Shepherds, listen to the prophets and heed their warnings. I would say that's pretty good advice. I'm going down to... Uh, E-Sword for Amos 3, 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret to his servants and prophets. And we're going to go to Acts 2, 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall, shall see dream dreams. And my servants and on their handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I show wonders in the heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whoever is called upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I'm asking you all, if you are not saved, Get saved quick, fast, and in a hurry. Jesus Christ, you can call him Yeshua. Just call him and serve him. Accept him as your Savior. He died for your sins. He is forgiving and loving and offers peace beyond all human comprehension. Know him today, love him and serve him. And be at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Loving Christ to all. This Shemira, I'm out.